Hello guys, uh, Dan here, uh, welcome back to Tabletop Artist channel. Uh, in today's very short video I will show you how to paint a Speculo Killer for the combined army. Uh, this will be a very simple paint job, I uh, will be mostly using contrast paints and I will minimize the amount of paints used uh, to get a nice result with uh, not too much investments. So sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the video. I primed the model with the red bone spray. Uh, while I was spraying I tried uh, to get the even coat uh, all around. So the first paint uh, we will apply will be a black templar contrast. Uh, we will use this color straight from the pot and uh, we will apply it uh, on the model in one thick coat all uh, around. So you will do uh, cape, uh, boots, uh, her chest, uh, cloak and the hilt of the blade. For her pants and for her sleeves I will use a Flash Tearers Red contrast paint. Uh, as well uh, I will use it straight from the pot and I will apply one thick coat uh, over the model. Uh, only thing to note here is to not uh, go over the place uh, that you already did the color. So because you will create a stains because the, the paint is drying uh, really quick actually. For that rock that she's standing on, we will use a basilicanum grey contrast and uh, same thing, uh, one very thick coat and just let it dry. Before going to the next step with the contrast paints, I will just use the, the braid bone and I will just uh, clean up uh, all the little mess that I made because there is like a few drops of paint here and there and a few little mistakes. So I will just return everything back to the primer color. Uh, for the skin uh, we will use a Gilliman Flash and this will be applied in one uh, thick coat. Uh, so just be careful not to go over the red parts. Uh, with this because it will stain it and then you will have to fix it later. And for her hair I used the Griffhound Orange Contrast. Uh, this is optional, you can paint the hair any color you like. I just followed the art from the box. Uh, now we will start highlighting the model, uh, but first thing I will use the downstone and then uh, I will paint these patterns that she have on her back and uh, on her cloak. Uh, I will uh, just thin this uh, color with a few drops of water and uh, I will go and paint these patterns, but I will still uh, leave all the recesses darker and all the shades intact. So this is how it looks at the end. Uh, now I will use Administratum Grey to do my edge highlight on all the black and grey parts. So for her weapon uh, you just wanna do the edge highlight with the side of your brush and just pull it uh, against the sharp edges to draw uh, nice lines. And for the rest of the her, uh, cloak uh, you wanna just highlight the edges and uh, all the sharp parts on her cloak where actually you, uh, you separate the downstone from the Black Templar contrast. And as well I use this color to highlight that rock that she's standing on. Uh, on the flat surfaces I was ju just drawing a little thin lines. Uh, for her red parts I use the Troll Slayer Orange as my only highlight. So we will just draw the very thin lines 
wherever uh, there is a sharp edge uh, of those uh, panels that we have. Uh, the model is really nice sculpted, so you just uh, follow those lines. Uh, this color is uh, really transparent, so you will have to go in uh, two thin coats. Just have a patient and draw uh, every single line that she have. It's quite a lot, actually. And with that part completed, we will move out to work on the face. Uh, so I will use the Kisla flash and uh, highlight uh, all the skin. So just the most raised uh, parts of the skin, like top of the fingers, knuckles, and on her face we will do like a nose, forehead, and that part of the face that is quite open. Uh, for the eyes, uh, we will just uh, base the white scar. Uh, inside the eye sockets, uh, just to fill out the whole area inside the eye sockets with the white. And uh, while we still have this color, I will paint her teeth inside this big mouth, uh, all of them uh, with the white. Then I will use the Reclant Flash Shade and fill out the eye sockets because I want the eyes to be a little reddish around. If you want it to be a little darker then you can use the Noon Oil. And uh, for the teeth uh, I will just uh, wash the whole mouth uh, with the Noon Oil. finish up the eyes, uh, take the black color and just uh, put a little dot in the middle of the eye. To finish up this model, uh, we need to paint the sword, so I will just uh, base uh, the whole sword with a Balor Brown. So uh, just take uh, this color, put it on your wet palette, add a few drops of water and just paint the sword in the two uh, thin layers. And uh, after everything is dry, uh, we will highlight the sword. So in this case I use the ye lemon yellow from Vallejo and I will just highlight the top part of the, the sword. Uh, the sword is pretty uh, nicely sculpted, so you have a visible line which is separating the bottom from the top part of the sword. So just uh, highlight the top part. And as well, we will uh, highlight all the accessories uh, with this color. So all the buckles and the buttons that she have on her cloak uh, as well that uh, part on the gun that I highlighted and she have a few lights on the boots as well. And for the final highlight uh, I will use the white scar and just uh, highlight that middle line uh, on the sword and uh, the cutting edge and the top edge as well. And that will be it for this model. I'll just transfer him on the, the little alien base that I pre-made it before. Uh, I'm just waiting for my tufts to arrive so I can create uh, something better on the base but now it's just too simple. So guys I hope uh, you liked this video. Uh, if you did uh, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to see painting me something else uh, soon on the channel that you're interested in, please uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, I will give my best. So for now, uh, stay safe and take care. Bye bye.